Okay, hello, what's up? We're in the next part now. Uh, please go check out the previous part to gauge um, your bearings, all right? Uh. Yeah, I get to do that. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, go check out your pre the next part, the other parts, the previous parts to this. So I was talking about how it is that this cousin of mine, in the previous part, I was I was basically picking a bone with deliverance minister's uh, doctrine sometimes. And now I want to help into the subject of... De um, the, the dreams that I got, like the myriads of them that I got, uh, among the things that this cousin tried to do to me, one of them was to horrify me. She wanted to make me a whore. A whore. She wanted to make me sleep around. I've had dreams where she's forcing also a pregnancy down my throat. She, of course, decimated my career, came against my um, degree. She came against my um, family and all these things. But yeah, among the things were to convert me into a whore. Why would this cousin who I gave the name Renelwe, why would she want me to become a whore all of a sudden over, or overnight? It is because the occult made her a whore. I told you guys um, that these very hard knock, haughty, lofty, satanic rituals that cause a person to become an, an executive overnight and as I is that any job that makes sense um a lot of them involve not only blood sacrifices but sexual in encounters orgies and things like these they get involved in sexual activity well god showed me that the the, the man that would ultimately because she wanted like some prolific career right the man that would ultimately be her boss right that would give her this job that came out of nowhere like a magician's rabbit out of a hat um she had to sleep with him she, i don't know how she met him whether she was introduced to him via isangoma or what but she had to sleep with this man as a ritual and there could not be any protection involved there mind you at this stage this chick first of all she and her ex not her ex but her husband her at the time it was a boyfriend ne? they uh like there were odds this guy was tired not again because she was not just to do this girl i told you she just was not trustworthy all right that was her history and he, he didn't want to stick around but she had already had a child for him and she did not want to be a single mom and struggling to find love again because of Taborna one and then she used to claim it was only because she knew this guy didn't want to marry her he was fed up with her but he didn't know how to get out next thing this dude who she claimed she could not care less to marry. Who also in and of himself was like, Next thing, they got married. God showed me, This girl not only got into the occult, but she used it to get everything. She made her, has her boyfriend, propose marriage and ultimately marry her. They then went on to have a second child. But by the time, uh, by the time that she was now trying gangkane to get a very prolific career, um, it was after the, the birth of her second kid, and she was now married a couple of years ne, with this guy, this ex, this boyfriend of hers, that would have not stuck around. They would not have had a second child at all. And by the way, this boyfriend was not innocent. Lena, Bali too. You know, foo foo, galaxy was. Lerato not really truly there. Anyway, whatever. Uh, she, by the time she embarked on this ritual to get this like lofty career ne? Uh, she was told she was already married with two kids she was told that she needs to sacrifice a human being and she chose me hence the stabbing in my chest and then abangala okay she also had to uh have some kind of a blood drinking ritual one thing i am certain of is that she had to engage in a sexual ritual and the person that she slept with is the dude that would then award her with a job out of nowhere that did not make sense for her, no prior experience, don't even understand how she met this guy. That's basically what happened, okay? So the human sacrifice ritual failed, but the sexual one didn't. And it, the human sacrifice ritual failed with me. I don't know if it, there's other people that she dropped the blood off, but it is likely true that she did, okay? But I can confirm that she definitely failed with me. There was then a sex ritual, and this sex ritual was unprotected. And this sex ritual was with a married man. God made it clear that the man that she slept, slept with to get this promotion. It was not just a regular, what do you call this? Like, you know, sleeping your way to the top, like, you know the executive of marketing and you really want to become a general manager or a segment manager and then you're like you flirt with a guy stroke his shoulder wink at him and then one day in bed you talk about that promotion and how it is that you're just going to slip your cv into hr and he will miraculously gaze upon it with favor i'm not speaking about that kind of sleeping your way to the top that does not involve any witchcraft this is a planned 
a planned within an occult circle sexual ritual and people are appointed to be the ones that will help people rise up and they have to engage with one another in exchanging bodily fluid so basically that otwele meets in a ritual in some kind of an occult meeting another woman ona my ambitions walk twila ona my ambitions walk twila do you understand so she was like a new recruit, uh, sort of like a virgin in this dark, ominous environment. And she met this man who was in a position to give her a job out of nowhere in this organization. Secret societies operate like that. They pull strings for one another and they will pretend they did not know each other prior to a person suddenly starting a new job. Gande Bakopani go some dark place in some dark kingdom one time and in in this upside in this right side up world they will act as if though she just submitted her CV and I liked her and I interviewed her and she got the job. She met this guy in the kingdom of darkness. Is that basic? And this dude was in a position to give her a job that did not make sense with absolutely no experience and it was also an industry that was brand spanking new like she had no prior connections to this industry it's like suddenly escarabo working as a project manager for mtn then one day becoming chief architect for some building construction company with no degree in architecture no know-how no skill no nothing but here it is that i am now the chief never mind just an architect or even an intern architect literally learning everything from scratch now I am like a chief architect with with no such prior experience. Mo, back like my last job, Nikili PM go MTN. I was in the telco space, and now I am in construction and build projects. Hmm. I don't even know what a brick looks like. All I can do is ones and zeros. All I can do is a project plan. But here it is that I'm the chief architect. I can't even draw, but I'm the chief architect. That's literally what happened with this cousin. She got a job like that with no prior experience, no industry know-how or connections. Within the space that she was in, there was no way that she could have ever met a person that would have that kind of knowledge. Like exactly like the example that I made with my job as a project manager and an architect. Uh, it's like when does a project manager in IT just have a run-in a run-in with a dude in build projects or sebelezang the government in construction when when at what point like stakeholder meetings what what kind of environment do you have to be in to brush shoulders professionally and have a professional conversation with a person like this when you are in such a far removed distant industry altogether these people met in the kingdom of darkness and this dude mega toilet and he'd been in the game for a minute and this cousin of mine was introduced into the space by consulting one particular witch doctor and this witch doctor initiated her into this given her desperation and she raised the money that was required in order for this ritual to be done i don't know how she raised it but frankly i think it was a personal loan because she did not have enough money to do that i keep a fifty thousand year corner and then she found herself in some strange environment and this is the space where she was seared sufficiently enough in her conscience to agree to sacrifice me she had yet to shed blood this is the the snake that i was talking about the snakes that i was talking about warning her she needs to kill them this is when the snakes got big this is when the snake became an anaconda this is when they became multiple anacondas she was in, put through some satanic ritual that took her conscience away let's move to the next part